Hey everyone, this is Mukesh Otwani once again from learn-innovation.com. Today in this lecture, we will talk about how you can install Node.js in Windows. So I'm using Windows 10, but if you're using Windows 8 or 8.1 or even Windows 11, the process will remain the same. I'm just following for Windows 10 as of now. So the first thing that you have to do, uh, let's cross check, do we have Node.js in my local system or not? So I will quickly open the CMD. I will just type node space hyphen V. It says node is not recognized as internal or external command. It means I don't have node.js in this system. Okay. So what I will do, I will close this and I will just type download node.js. Okay. So you will be getting their official website, which is node.js.org. So I'm just getting the download section because we have just typed download, but this is their official website, which is node.js.org. As you can see, they have multiple sections about download documentation, you know, certification and all the updates. And one thing that you have to notice, it is just a JavaScript runtime, which is built on Chrome V8 JavaScript engine. Okay. So it's a, just a runtime environment for your JavaScript. So do not get confused with Node.js and JavaScript. So it's just a runtime environment for your JavaScript. So again, this is the LTS version, which is 14.17.3 at the time of recording. And this is the current version, which is 16.5.0. So I'm going to go with LTS version. So click on this and you can see it's directly starting for windows. But if you're using different operating system, then you can just navigate to download section. And as you can see for different operating system, you have different option. So suppose if you're using windows or Mac or you know, different operating system, it will automatically start downloading. So you can see they have multiple options for windows. They have MSI zip file for Mac. They have dot PKG file dot tar dot GZ and same for Linux. And if you just come down further, you can see Docker images as well. So it depends on your requirement. You can download respective one and you can start using it right now. We are using windows. So I have downloaded this MSI file. So once downloading part is done, you will find something called a small installer. Okay. It was in my download folder. So I created a new folder Node.js and I kept here. So just double click on this installer. Click on next. Click on accept the agreement. Click on next again. And this is the main path guys. Okay. So just keep a note of this path. It is going to a program files Node.js. Click on next. Click on next. By default Node.js runtime is selected. Click on next again and click on next and click on install. It will take few seconds and Node.js will be installed in your system. Now, once it is done, you just need to click on finish and Node.js is installed in your system. Now, in order to cross check, let's quickly start the CMD. I will just type node space hyphen V. As you can see, I got the same version, which is 14.17.3, which is the one that we have downloaded and again one thing which i want to see which is npm so i will say npm space hyphen v so now i will be getting npm version as well so let's wait which is 6.14.13 okay so we will be using this npm so npm stand for node package manager we will be using multiple npm commands once you move ahead so if you just type npm space hyphen hyphen help okay so you will see a couple of commands and we will not be using all of them, but yes, we will be using few of them. So if you see, uh, we will be using for basically update, install, uninstall, start, stop, test. You can see there are multiple commands. So if you need help for any of the command, you can just type NPM. Let's say you just want information about this test. So you just type test and first type help and just type test. Okay, so you will get the information about this command as well. What exactly this command will do and how you can use it. So you can see it's opening the documentation and you will get all the information that what kind of argument you can pass and so on. Okay, so we will be using NPM uh, multiple times. It is installed successfully. Now you can execute JavaScript without browsers as well because it's a runtime environment, right? So in case if you're not getting this options, okay, so let's say you have typed node space hyphen V, you're not getting node version, you're not getting NP version. It means the path you need to set manually. Generally, it should set the path automatically. But in case, if you're not able to get this, you can just cross check how you can do that. For this, what I will do, I will show you. Um, just go to your 
my computer click on properties click on advanced system settings click on environment variables and just come to system variable and search for path variable okay you can see this path variable click on add it and if you just expand this you can see just now we installed right so it has automatically added this path which is c program files node.js and this is exactly where our node.js is located so if you just want to go and cross check just go to c drive go to program files and just type node.js and yes here it is located so you will find all the node modules and npm everything in case if you're not getting node version npm version it means you need to set this path manually 90 percent it should come in case it is not coming just come to system variable set the path here and click on ok and just restart your system once so even if it is not working after restart please let me know i can help you out now everything is set so let's try to run a small javascript it will be a hello world program our main intention is to run using node.js console dot log okay now inside parenthesis i will just say hello world or hello javascript and i will simply close this parenthesis so let me save this file so i will press ctrl s and on my desktop i have created one folder called javascript examples so i will just go inside this folder now i will save this file as dot js okay so let me just type this as hello dot js extension should be dot js guys okay so now if i want to execute this javascript i don't need any browser so i just need command prompt so i will just use the same uh, command prompt and i will navigate to first of all desktop then inside doc desktop we have created javascript uh, examples now i will just type node and i will give that file which is hello.js okay and you can see we got the output hello.js okay so let's say again if i want to make any changes i will just go back to the same file and i will say hello mukesh or hello world okay just save this file come back here again just type node space that file name and you can see now it's got updated and it says hello world so this is how the file will look like this is the exact location where we have kept our .js file and you can see it's a javascript file and if you don't want to navigate directly from there just go to that particular directory where your js file is located type cmd here and it should start command prompt with the same location okay now if you want to execute just type node space hello.js and it should give the hello world so it's very easy so in the upcoming lectures we will see uh, the different concept of javascript right now we are just trying console.log okay which is kind of a printing something on the console once we move ahead we will discuss about the different data types operators classes objects loops control statement whatever is required for our test automation we will be covering it so right now i'm just using this notepad but in the next lecture we will use visual code there we will be writing all of our code okay but yes it's up to you if you want to use different editor it's totally up to you at the end of the day we just need to write javascript code okay I hope you enjoyed this lecture and I hope you got some benefit from this lecture. So if you're new to this channel, then make sure you subscribe this channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos from my channel and kindly share with your friends and colleagues and I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.